Okay, we're going to be looking at the mode and modal class um, in this lesson. But before we do that, I want to discuss um, the three types of average. Um, <clears throat> so the three types of average are the three different measures that we can use to look at the central tendency of um, a data set and um, these are the mode and the mode is the most common value and the mean which is what we traditionally think of as being the average so that is calculated by summing all values and dividing by the number of values and the median which is the value in the middle of an ordered set. Now which value we are going to use to summarise our data will depend very much on the type of data we're um, dealing with and the um, circumstance in which we are in. Um, for example, if you wanted to calculate, um, if you wanted to look at what the average income was in a region, you'd be looking at the mean. But looking at the mean average income can come up, can give us lots of different problems. We need to think first differentiate who is the, um, do we do all workers or do we subdivide them into two different data sets depending on their socio-economic background. Um, <coughs> If you were a shoemaker, the average, the mean shoe size of the population would not necessarily be the most um, useful when coming to um, consider how much stock you have and how many um, shoes in different sizes that you have. A shoemaker would, um, would be looking more to the mode because they obviously want to have the most shoes and the, the, the most common shoe size. Um, if you were a farmer and you would want to see um, the median of which hen has been the most productive hen in your um, chicken coop, for example. So as you can see, the, the way we deal with data depends very much on the circumstances in which we are working. So in this lesson, we're going to look at specifically mode and modal class. So, for example, let's think of rolling a dice, or a die, um, 25 times. Um, so we'll have the score, and we have the frequency. So the score can be 1. Two, three, four, five, or six. And the frequencies, and for the 25 rolls, is five, six, five, three, two, and four. So in this example, two is the mode. It's the most common value. If we were to repeat this again and roll our dice another 25 times, we wouldn't necessarily get the same answer for our mode because this is completely um, a, um, a random process, rolling a dice. Now, if a set of group data... Um, um, doesn't allow the raw values to be seen, 
we need the modal class. And this is the one with the highest frequency density. So let's look at an example of this. So I want to find the modal class of 270 pencil lengths. So <clears throat> this is our data that we've been given. We've got the length in x centimetres and the number of pencils. So the lengths are 4 to 7 and there's 100 of those, 8 to 10, there's 90 and at 11 to 12 we have 80. Now looking at this you may be, you may think the the modal class is the first one because there's 100 pencils there. Now let's look at this data more carefully and remember with the length we need to um, like for example if the pencil was 3.6 centimeters it would be rounded to 4. So we're going to create um, a, ten, a table with the lengths and we're going to write that as um, inequality. So we've got 3.5 less than or equal to x less than 7.5 so that's our first um, class width and then we've got 7.5 less than or equal to x less than 10.5 And the final one is 10.5 less than or equal to x less than 12.5. And then our number of pencils again. This is the same. It's meant to be a 90 and 80. Now here we need to look at the width. So the width of this is four centimetres, the width of this is three centimetres and the width of the final one is two. And then we need to calculate the frequency density. And so that would be a hundred divided by four, which is 25, 90 divided by three, which is 30, and 80 divided by two, which is 40. Now we can see by looking at the frequency de density that we get quite we get a different idea a different grasp of what's actually happening and the modal class is actually the last one the the length um, <coughs> 11 to 12 centimeters if we were to sketch this this is not going to be an accurate um, histogram because I'm just sketching here we'd have a little jaggy bit here um, and this is our length uh, we started at 3.5, 7.5, 10.5 and 12.5 and then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the first one is 25. Second one was 30, that's meant to go to there by the way. And the final one was 40. Oops, need to do a straight line. Um, so the modal class is 11 to 12 centimetres, or more accurately, 10.5 to um, 12.5 centimetres. Now, <coughs> it's important to note that the modal class does not contain the most pencils, but the greatest number of pencils per centimetre. 
let's look at one more example. So we've got two classes of data. And they have interval um, widths in a ratio 3 to 2. Given there is no modal class, and that the frequency of the first class is 48. Find the frequency of the second. So if the if the width intervals are a ratio of three to two, that means that the frequencies must be also um, in the same ratio. So forty eight to x. Um, <coughs> so this shows us that two over three must be the same as x over forty eight. Then rearranging this, we get x equals thirty two. So the second the um the second class has a frequency of thirty two. So I hope that helps.